thank you for being here. Here's a fun tutorial on transforming and taking my pennants that I've made and uh, make them your own and have some fun with them. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, I'm going to cut the ends off of these file hanger, whatever they are. And Off. You could think of something to do with them. That's great, but I can't. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut them. I think I'm going to cut it. I guess I didn't. Press hard enough. Where is the... There we go. Okay. I think this is just the right weight for what I want to do. Okay. Now I'm going to use this as my backing. I should be able to get two out of each folder, which is great. Okay, so I'm going to cut that out. And then um, cut my pennants out, and then I will be right back. What I'm doing is just laying it down using a white gel pen and just tracing. Because I made these all a little bit different, so they're just a little bit different size. I mean, you can, you know, print them into the same size, but I made these just a little bit different. So I'm going to cut these out, and then these are being, and I did this, I mean, uh, you could get prettier colors to use. I mean, these are just green. I wasn't using them for, the, for this when I bought them, but I would get, you know, they have all different colors of these filed file hangers. Is that what you call them? So, definitely get a prettier color if you want a prettier back. But nobody's going to see the backs of mine because they're going to hang right behind me. I needed something. And that's what prompted this to make them because, um, actually, to put them on Etsy because I, was, I needed them for myself. And I thought, well, if I'm going to make them, maybe somebody else would like these. So... Okay, so then, then this way you can just glue it down, or if you want to put ribbon in it or anything lacy or whatever, you put, just put it between the two layers and then it will hang off. But I'm not going to do that with that because I'm going to get these down. Then I'm going to uh, do some more decorating on top of these. And um, and then I'll show you, I will put the little, and this just gives it just a little weight because, I mean, the paper I printed it on is fine. You could bake. It's you know, if you want to print it on heavier paper, just remember, make sure it's coated so you get the colors. That's fine, and then you don't even have to put a backing on it, but um, I didn't, so um, I wasn't going to run out and get heavier paper. I just, I will eventually, but just not today. So, okay, so I'm going to cut this one out, and then I'll come back and we'll decorate them together, okay? Now I'm just using double-sided tape. Oops. Score tape, you can use anything. So I want to make sure that they stay down. Trying to find, oh, I do have a glue stick. I, I'm sure they work with a glue stick too. I just couldn't find my glue stick, so. The only thing, you know, the only thing I don't like about this double sided score tape is you cannot make a mistake. I mean, because once this stuff is down, it's down. So, okay, so I have them all down. I used tacky glue on one. I used, um, just to see how everything went, the score tape on one, and they all feel good. And I used the glue stick on another. So, it all worked good. So, now let's decorate them, and then we can get them tied together. And I was thinking of, you know, just tying them from end to end, 
like that. And I'm going to make um, three more so I have three or six more so I have a whole uh, bunch of them to just hang across. I'm not really but these looking are to add any color, but I want to either, you know, put some stamping on it and then use some black and white, kind of highlight more of the white and uh, put in some more black and um, let me get my, my black gel pens. So just kind of do that. I, I, it's got enough color on here. I mean, I don't have, really have to do anything, but you know, I like black and white. So that's really what I'm going to add bit more of that. I have these originals um, hanging up in my kitchen. They're just so bright and, you know, vibrant. I just love them. And if you are making these for a present or for an occasion, you can always just write on these or stick on letters that say happy birthday or the person's name or, you know, whatever you wanted, whatever occasion. And if it's just for you, then you can write all your own little inspirational sayings. And then you have it in your studio, your craft room, to just look at and remember. Or you can put your children's names on them, grandchildren, pictures of them. So this is what you have them. I love pennants, banners, all that stuff. And that's what prompted me to start selling these on Etsy because I love them. I want them to have sayings on them and things on them that I want them to have. So you see I'm just going over the black. And they're just very nice for you to customize yourself. I just want to make sure I bring that black out. remember. I think I used, what was it? Ah, gelatos, I think, were the gelatos and watercolor paints on these is what I, what I used on the, on the original. Of course, you could paint more flowers on here if you wanted to. Stamp some flowers on here. I'll just use this as a background. You know, draw a girl on here. Oh, don't get me started, Rita. Oh, I'm giving myself ideas. I could do that, couldn't I? But I'm not. This really makes me feel like having a party. These colors. And being that it's going to be summertime soon. 
makes me think of, you know, hanging and nice music going and drinking some margaritas. Enough of doodling. But I dropped water and um, made such a mess. Just trying to fix the camera and I knocked over my water. I thought I got it all sopped up, but I guess not because it got on this. Okay, so I'm only going to do the three on camera so I can show you um, what I'm doing with these. And and um, I'm sure you don't want to sit through the whole nine of them, so I'll just do these three. I'll be right back. going to look pretty. I'm going to decorate that. Okay, 
also going to color that in, I think, with my <coughs> um, markers or uh, jelly, jelly roll pens. This one I have love up there, and I'll probably put <clears throat> something else right in here um, to give it maybe a little bird. I'm going to go see what I have. And I'm just using a Sharpie um, pen, I mean a Sharpie pen paint marker. Just going over that a little bit, the white to pop out a little bit more. There's the white. And I am going to stamp a little bird on there. And then go in over this one with black, because this one says believe in yourself. So let's go over this. Gosh, it's so nice to have my gel pens back. I mean, I knew I missed them, but I didn't realize how much I missed them. So I like them a little bit with the orange. my gel dry before I go messing around with it. That dry. And this one I am actually thinking of doing it with um, some H2O. So let's see. Paper is not that thick, but um, it may hold up to a little bit of water. So I'm not going to use a water pen. I'm going to just use a regular brush. Let me just go get some fresh water and I'll be right back. So I'm just adding some color on this butterfly with the um, H2O's. Now how I had, had I, excuse me, printed this out on watercolor paper, um, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know how the colors come out when you're printing a download onto watercolor paper, but it would have been easier to add color, but I really wasn't planning on doing anything with water. Until I 
I saw the butterfly. I'm not even spraying in the jars. I'm just adding a little bit of water. Because I don't want the brush wood too wet. I only want the intense of color of the H2O's, not the watered down color because this page is so vibrant the colors. So I definitely want to keep it like that. I just muddied my my ah goodness put the wrong Just add some my lovely gold, which I'm I gotta get more of eventually. Well, you know, I really don't use these that much. I love them, but I don't use them a lot, my work. So now I'm gonna just add some gold. Why? Because I like it. Gold. Gold and silver. I wish the silver showed up. I have a silver pen too, but it, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't do it. And I love silver. I mean, most of my jewelry is silver. Okay, and then. When that dries, I'll just do the little body more in black, and um, I think that really came out so pretty. I'm loving it. Love, love, loving it. Stamped a little, reminds me of a love bird. It's a little dove. And I'm um, going to just, a lot of purple on this page. You know, and these H2Os are so cool because they, they really, they shine. And I'm going to spray these to seal them. Um, because I did all this extra work on them, so I'm going to. If I was just printing them out and, you know, hanging them up, which some of them will be just like that, the ones that go in between, <clears throat> I'm not going to decorate, extra decorate. They're decorated enough. There's so much um, color on them. So I'm just doing some, and then some I'm going to just leave plain. Or maybe just put a picture on them.
So when that dries, I'll just put a little eye in, and um, that'll be that'll be done. Right, a little leopard or dove, whatever. But you know, of course, I have to color it. I'm not going to leave it white. Are doves white? I think they're white. I don't know. <clears throat> and I love white doves, but this dove is colorful. So just getting reflections from all the flowers. That's why. So that's that, and um, believe in yourself, I think I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it, I like it, and just maybe add a little white, Sparkle on the page. And I, and I could imagine putting glitter on here too, or, or even um, embossing some pretty things on this. Which I could have done with the act, the words. That would have been really cool. Should have done that. Well, maybe I'll do it on another one. Emboss the words. to hang these. I'm the curtains I have behind me are so boring and I really need to get something a little bit more me. You know when you get things just to get something quickly because it was my husband put up a door, took down the sliding doors and put up French doors and um, He's not finished with the wall yet, so I don't want to put anything permanent there yet. So I just have these curtains up there that I'm not, they're just plain. Yuck. Oh, so that looks really cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of, oh wow, glittered it up quite a bit. So I'll do a little bit more here. Not glitter. Gold, golded it. Gold it? Gold, I don't know. Shined it. Sparkled. That sound okay? Maybe I'll just add a little bit more sparkle. Okay, see? I can never stop. I can't stop myself. I know there's got to be a song. Yeah, it, you can really see the gold pretty. It looks really pretty. It shines. Those H2Os are so pretty. You just had to get them in the right light, though, in order to show them on camera. Put them on there. I think, I think, I think, I think that's it. Come on. I don't can't see. 
there it goes. Kind of maybe see it like that. Kind of have the oh, it looks so pretty. So with the sun kind of coming in through my window, I'll get to see all the gold shimmer on there. And then there's that. You can see the bird's wing and the body. Oh, it looks so pretty. And then this one. Can you see that? It's really going to be so cool. Very nice. Okay. So, I'm going to have to finish that. Let them dry and then I'll finish them and then I'm going to put holes in these and um, let me see if I have any grommets. Grommets and then tie them together with ribbon and I'll just show you the three of them finished. Okay? And these I printed out because I'm going to be doing these too and I thought, oh, these like would be so cool for kids room or baby's room and to put little sayings on them and you can doodle these up and put stamps on them and really make them pretty for a baby's room and just keep repeating these. Um, you know, maybe six or nine of them across and put pretty ribbon if it's a boy or a girl, like pink ribbon or because you have some pink in it. And I just thought that would be really cool for baby's room. And they're individual, they're different shapes. So this one's larger than this one purposely because I wanted them to be funky. You can always reshape them. They are JPEG, so you can go in and redo it, you know, any way you want. And um, have fun with it. added some beads and little, I don't even know what they are, little stick-on little jewels and uh, all kinds of stuff. I wound up adding to them just to give them a little bit more bling and they look really cool. So, And I tied them together with black ribbon and I cannot find the part of the video where I showed doing that but you can see I guess a little black ribbon hang them and uh, hanging and I have them hung up right now on my wrought iron little divider just so I can show you what they look like together. Thank you so much my friends for being here and if I inspired you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Until the next time, bye bye.